Hey everybody, Brenda here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so I saw this little thing on Pinterest and I thought it was really cute, a version of it on Pinterest. So uh, I tried making one and this is uh, what it is, how it turned out. And I thought you, know, you guys might want to see how I made it and <clears throat> maybe craft along or make one yourselves. So uh, what I thought I would do with it is um, maybe, well, let me show you first. So this is the front, of course. Two little tags tuck in the front here, two little pockets. Open it up and you have a pocket here and some uh, <clears throat> journaling cards stuck in there. And I made this little uh, decoration here with a little pocket and a little tag stuck in there. And this is the back. Now you could put a pocket along the back or um, a side tuck, whatever you want to do. But this is how I made it. And what I thought I would do is uh, clip it inside a journal, or you could um, <clears throat> um, put it in the middle of a signature. I thought I, I might do that. Or you could tuck it into a pocket, whatever you feel like doing. And I wanna to explain to you, uh, if you hear any background noise, my daughter, my granddaughter is downstairs with my husband, but we're also putting in a furnace. So if you hear any weird noises, that's what it could be. If it gets too bad, I will stop the video and um, we'll go from there. So I guess I should tell you what this is made out of is a paper bag. So um, let's get started. Let me see if I can show you how we made it here. So I have my um, <clears throat> things to use here. <clears throat> and um, <clears throat> a little dry up here, sorry about that. Okay, I used the large paper bag. That's what I have, is the large paper bag. And I have a, the cut off here somewhere. So <clears throat> what I did, my paper bag was um, 12 and a half by six, sort of like this. So I cut off two and a half inches and made it 10 by six. Now, <clears throat> I think you can use any size paper bag that you'd like to use. Um, your measurements are not gonna be the same as mine, so I'm not gonna mess with measurements. Um, I uh, <clears throat> uh, will show you how to fold the bag first. So what I did was took my 10 inch long bag and I fold it so you have a little lip at the top. I would say what, half an inch maybe at the top. Keep a little lip there because this is where your little, <clears throat> your little tags will sit and that, that lip will be in the background. So after that, I distressed all around the bag. I distressed everything because that's what I do. I like to distress. Okay. So the first thing I did after that was I measured the back of the bag. And what I got and what I'm going to use is this here. And I always like to... Um, leave a little strip around to make sort of a little frame. So I'm going to, um, I did distress this, I think I did distress this. And I am going to glue this right here. And I am going to use my art glitter glue. <clears throat> 
if I can get it to come out. Hope you guys are having a fun day crafting away. Let's see if I can get this here. Either side would be pretty, but I will use the uh, <clears throat> plaid side. Sticking still with the fall colors. My favorite time of year is the fall. Nice and cool, beautiful colors. Let's make sure it's the right side up here. And I'm going to try to get this even as much as possible. <clears throat> okay. So there's your back. Then what I did was measure from here, I measured from inside the fold right here to the front, to the top, sorry, and got my measurement <clears throat> and then uh, how wide it is. And then I cut a piece of paper that would fit right up to that fold on the inside there and still have a little bit to um, frame. So that's what we're going to do next is put this paper down. <clears throat> My glitter glue. Right up to the line. And straight as I can get it. And press down. So there you have the um, inside. And then after I glued this down, I went ahead and folded my fold back up again to make sure it's good and folded right here, like this. There we go. Next, what I did was um, cut out a piece for this. I measured <clears throat> this little area right here. And I cut out a piece that I thought would go okay. And remember, uh, all your measurements will be different, so I'm not going to mess with the measurements. <clears throat> Very dry up here, upstairs today. Okay. Messy. So I'm going to put this down. There we go. So this will be your inside pocket. And we can, uh, <clears throat> You can go ahead and glue the sides down here now, or you can wait for later. I'll probably wait until a little later, but this is this will be glued down on the side, so you have a little pocket here. <clears throat> Sorry about that, guys, but I did warn you. So here we have <clears throat> the back, the middle, and the little 
little pocket. Just waiting to see if it may stop soon. Maybe, if we're lucky. Sorry. Okay, now, for the front, we need to make the little pockets before we lay down uh, the paper in the front. We need to divide the pockets. So how I did that was I took my stapler. <clears throat> Just a minute. Let's see. Okay. What I probably didn't want to do is, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you anyway because I messed up. Um, what you probably want to do be before you, um, actually, I'm not gonna use the stapler. I think I'll glue. So, <clears throat> Sorry about that, guys. Um, what I what I did here was I took my ruler, and this is six inches high. So um, at the three inch mark, I drew a line right across, and uh, that will divide. <clears throat> sorry, that will divide my pockets. So I what I did before on this one was stapled. I put three staples in right along here. Right along here, I stapled it three times. But you need to do that before you lay down your middle. So instead of stapling this time, I'm going to put a line of glue on the inside of the bag right along this line. I think stapling would have been much easier, but like I said, I am going to line right along. Oh, not bad. That wasn't bad. And then glue that right down in the middle. There we go. And that's going to create your two pockets. Like I said, before I stapled it, but made a little boo-boo, so had to improvise. <clears throat> okay, for the front of the, the um, little booklet here, I cut two pieces of paper, one for the top, it goes right about here, and one for the bottom to go right about here. So that's what that will look like. So I will go ahead and glue these down. I did distress them, I think. I think I did. So I'm gonna go, whoops, I think I, you know what? Well, that would look nice on the bottom. How about like that? Make it a little different this time? I think I will. So I'm gonna glue this top down. I can get it. Here we go. And glue the bottom down. Sorry about the noise. They were quiet for a while, so I thought, yeah, I'm going to get this video in. 
and then look what happened. I'm trying to line these right up together here, straight as I can get it. <clears throat> here we go. Okay, so we have the front. Um, now, I think, all we need to do, let's get these glued down here. And all you need is just a little bit of glue on the sides here to create this pocket. There we go. Now all we have left to do is decorate. That's the fun part. So what I have here um, is a little uh, little piece that was in the kit, uh, uh, the paper, the paper kit. Now. Um, I want this on the front, but because of this line right here, see in this one, <clears throat> what I did was create a little frame for the front piece, because what I'm trying to do is hide this little line here where, they, uh, where the two come together. So what I thought I would do this time is use some washi tape. So I think I will just put some washi tape right along the line here, and that will fix that little problem. I don't know how it's gonna look, but that's what I thought I would try to do. Straight. I think it will look okay. It might show through, but. Cut it right about there. At least it will be a little bit more decor to cover up that line. <clears throat> that piece go? Lost it. Okay. Probably not as well as I wanted it. Oh yeah, that looks better. Yeah, that'll work. I like that. So I'm going to go ahead and distress this little card here because I did forget to distress it. Okay. And I was going <clears> to <throat> I was going to place that right here. Right about center. thinking do I want to decorate the corners <clears throat> round the corners maybe decorate the corners maybe sorry let's use this and see what happens personality here. There we go. That looks a little more decorated. Oh yeah, I like that. Okay, um, so I'm going to glue this down. <clears throat> you probably can hear my granddaughter. She's probably had her lunch and is raring to go. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to put this right down close to the middle, as straight as I can get it. Okay. These should be dry on the sides here. And 
excuse me. So what I took for the, um, what I made, I should say, well, I didn't make them, but I decorated them a little. Um, these two tags here, and what I thought they would do is go right in. Now this here, you can glue that part down if you want to. This part here you can glue down. I didn't on the other one, um, but I put my tags right in here <clears throat> and leave them hanging just a little bit for that background. There we go. And I leave them hanging out just a little bit like this. <clears throat> just like that. So uh, there you have the front. Um, you can go ahead and, and do more to the front if you'd like. Um, with this one here, uh, I added some flowers along the bottom with some little bling. This one, I kind of like it just like it is. So for the inside, there's the piece of tape I <laughs> lost right here. I was wondering where that ran off to. Um, for this area here, I made a little, uh, tag to go here and then um, put it in a frame like this and then I left the top for a little pocket so I'm going to go ahead and distress this and my little rooster here First, I'm going to glue these together. Let's see. Where did I make my pocket at? Sorry. Oh, okay. The top. Okay. So this I'm going to glue all the way down. But you could leave it as a little pocket if you would prefer. fresh now this piece I'm going to leave the top unglued so I can use it as a little pocket And then in uh, in here, um, I'm not going to decorate it or anything right now, um, but this is where I would put the little tag after I decorate it. <clears throat> so, you have your little pocket here, you have your little tag spot here, you have your little um, pockets on the front here, and that makes the little booklet. Now, also, just came to mind, you could uh, add paper or a little journal, journaling paper right in here. And this could be a little journal all by itself. I think that would be cute. So, there you have it. Um, <clears throat> easy as that. I thought they were cute, so I wanted to share it. Uh, with you guys. I hope you um, can make one and enjoy making one. Um, um, like I said before, um, 
you know, it should have been stapled across here, but I think the, the glue, just gluing right across the front worked perfect. So I hope you guys give it a try. Um, I am going to uh, say uh, goodbye for now before it gets any noisier. So you guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. I really appreciate all your comments. You guys are great. I love you all. I hope you have a wonderful day. Stay safe. And we will see you later, I hope, soon. Bye-bye.